Hey everyone. So today we're going to talk a little bit about functions versus methods. And uh, I'm going to just take a quick high level statement here and say if you see something that is a name with parens, this is what we would call a function. And if you see something else, let's say we've got a string. I'm just going to do this for uh, explanatory purposes. I'm going to make a string. And that is an object, right? It's a string object. I'm going to take some string, and then I'm going to apply a method to it. So this is what a method looks like. So some string dot upper versus, uh, well, let's just use this print on some string as well. Now, if I print some string, I am printing some string, right? If I print some string dot upper, I'm printing what dot upper is returning, having modified some string. So if I save this, I'm going to go ahead and run this, right? And we can see over here, uh, when we print some string, of course, it prints lowercase hey. When we print some string dot upper, it prints uppercase hey. So this is a good differentiation to know how to make. If somebody's talking about a function, they're talking about some standalone thing, right? Uh, let's, let's just write a function really quick. So def some func and with some param. And we're going to just return some param plus one. So notice here that we're not actually uh, modifying the parameter in this case, right? We're returning a different object. So whatever we pass in, if I call this, we can just take a look. So I'm going to print some func on three. Three is going to be, three is an object that we pass in, right? It's an integer object. And we're going to get four out of it, which is a different inter integer object. So if we want to if we want to load a new int with with some func on three, right? New int is going to have the value of four. So if you think about every function as having been defined at some point in this manner, then <clears throat> And that calling some function is going to look like this, right? Some func on some object. Then that's going to help you notice when something is a function in your code. And uh, otherwise, if you want to notice if something is a method in your code, it's going to have this format up here, right? So there's some object here, some string dot upper. Dot upper is the method. And it's, it's a method that lives in the string class. That's why we can call it on a string typed object. Okay, so a method is sort of a subset of a function, of functions, right? It's a function that lives within the class of a given object.